Hey lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. Today, as you can see by my title, I have the much, 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 much awaited Max Cinderella Collection Haul for you all. Since late last year, I've been getting asked if I was going to do this video. Of course, I had to do this video for you all, of course. So here I am, and I do apologize in advance about the lighting. I do use natural lighting, but the sun is coming in and out, and I didn't want to risk waiting until a little bit later or the next day or whenever to film this video because it's been cloudy, rainy, snowy, all that. So I do apologize, but hopefully the sun peeks out and you all get the best pictures. At least I'll try my best to take the best pictures for you all. Just went to the office to get my things and I came right back and I said I'm gonna film this video. I'm not gonna risk it because this weather has been so crazy and cold. <laughs> but let's just get started. You all know I love to chat. But I honestly have- oh I just saw they put a little note on here. That's nice. Literally I have no idea what's in here. The only thing that I did kind of get in advance- well this is in advance. This is a pre-recorded video as usual, but this collection will be released on Thursday, February 26th, if I'm not mistaken, on MacCosmetics.com. This is exclusive to Mac stores, Mac Cosmetics Online, and Macy's stores only. I am not sure why that is the case. I know that Macy's has definitely been stepping it up with their exclusives, which is great for Macy's, but unfortunately it won't be available at all the other Nordstrom, Bloomies everywhere else it's only like Macy's and Mac I, I'm not sure why that is but I think if I'm not mistaken that's how it was for the Maleficent collection which was on another Disney club I'm just seeing what's in here I have no idea what's in here but the, the only thing that I really did get kind of in advance is the eyeshadow palette and I already did take pictures of it because I know it was gonna be you know a long process to swatch and everything but this is the eyeshadow palette it's called Stroke of Midnight. I'm sure you all have seen it. It's gorgeous. Doesn't my nail polish match? I have no idea what it is. My co-worker just painted my nails. I have no idea what this nail polish is. I think it's by Ella Mask. I'm not sure. But anyways, this is the packaging and it's gold on the inside. What I liked, I'm not, I don't think they've done this before, but they taped it right here so it's more secure I guess but I thought that was pretty neat. Well, before I actually get started and showing you all I know I'm yap yapping but I do have to mention this kind of like a disclaimer. I honestly was not too impressed with this collection. The only reason why I got this, Cinderella is definitely my favorite Disney princess. It's actually really the only princess that I really like. She was definitely if not the most popular Disney princess and I loved her and this was honestly geared towards the collector just like Maleficent was it's more for a collector's item it wasn't that you, you won't see artists hey I got my Cinderella palette look at this you know what I mean it's more for the collector inside of us with that being said I definitely do think this is going to sell out Maleficent I voiced my opinion before I did not like Maleficent the final products that Disney picked out I was just like really that's what you're gonna pick I feel it's the same way with this collection it's nothing super OMG I need this in my life nothing really like that but I definitely do think it will sell out because I with most collab collections Mac doesn't make a huge huge stock of everything so they have I don't want to say limited but they don't have as much as if it was just like MAC the matte lip collection you know they have they'll have a whole stock of that with collaboration collections it's not like that they don't have as much stock with that being said I know there's a lot of gals my age or even older even younger you know that love Cinderella maybe want to get something for their daughters what have you so I definitely think this collection is going to sell out. I don't think it's the most pigmented or most colorful or most innovative thing out there, but it's going to sell out. I just know it. I, I really just know it. But again, I have to mention this. I mentioned this in my Simpsons collection haul and pretty much all the collaboration hauls. It's not up to Mac to decide the final products that are going to come out. It's up to Disney. And their representatives to say okay this one looks nice this one this one this one putting Disney's name on it yes it is Mac Mac made the product but ultimately Disney's logo on it so of course it has to be okayed by them so again I wasn't really too impressed with the collection everything that I got was gifted to me yes I do admit it but I'll let you know if there's something that I would pick up I definitely would have to pick up but I think Honestly, just because of the collector inside of me and because I love Cinderella and because I know I, I'm not trying to lure you in But honestly Mac is never gonna re-release this collection ever Maybe different packaging maybe in a different collection, but Mac Cinderella 
it's this one time. I'm not sure after using this eyeshadow palette, I'm not too sure if I would have gotten it because it's really pretty to look at and I love Cinderella and I love the packaging and you know, it's pretty gold, pastel blue or whatever you want to call this color, but the color payoff is terrible. I'm using this on my eyes today. It was terrible. If it looks like a hot mess on my eye, it's because it is. The color Stroke of Midnight, and I'm sure it has been mentioned before because this is a all these are permanent or re-releases but they've been shown before I'm very sure about that this one is so difficult to blend it is ridiculous so again if my eyes look like a hot mess or girl you need to blend 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 I try blending for 10 minutes I'm not even gonna lie so yeah that's that so that's the palette and let me show you all the swatches these are the swatches of the palette quad on my hand stroke of midnight and as you can see not too innovative impressive this shade right here vapor was terrible as you can see terrible 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 they're signed taupe stroke of midnight took a long time to get that color and even then you can see it kind of looks patchy and not that great and i will add pictures that i took with flash and without flash Again, it's very pretty I love the box but I'm not sure if I would spend I don't even know how much money I'm probably in the 40s if I would be buying that take everything out that I got I have no idea what's in here hopefully I got everything like the lipsticks and stuff because that would be terrible there's only two beauty powders oh they gave me another one of stroke of midnight maybe I'll add in the giveaway maybe I'll give it away I don't know uh, beauty powder. okay so since we did powders let's just do, did I get both beauty powders? Yeah, I got both the beauty powders. Yay. Okay. Oh, I do want to keep these. Thank you. <laughs> this is it. See, sucker for packaging. Mac, you always do this. And this beauty powder is called Mystery Princess. And it's in gold. I don't know, paper on the bottom. What? <laughs> How excited I get. Oh, it has a mirror. Hallelujah. I've seen the products before, but in the packaging, I haven't seen them. So that's why you all say I get all excited. I do. I'm sorry. It's the collector fangirl. I mean, you saw how serious I was and now I'm like, <laughs> okay, so this is it. I like this kind of gold colored rim. I like that. And that's the color. So let's go ahead and swatch this. This does not show up on me. I'm not even surprised, to be honest. I'm really not even surprised. Thinking this was supposed to be an iridescent kind of beauty powder. Yeah, this barely even shows up on me. I will I will take the camera, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I really wasn't that impressed with this collection. I wanted to love it. Inner little girl, inner fangirl <laughs> wanted to love this collection, but it is what it is. But again, keeping in mind, Cinderella, very fair. Very fair. Did she even wear makeup? I don't even remember. Like, did she even wear eyeshadow on the big night? I don't even remember so please tell me down below I don't remember but I do take this into consideration that she's very fair obviously this is more geared towards collectors and Cinderella and you know loving Cinderella and the Cinderella movie coming out isn't it just convenient that the Cinderella movie comes out on March 13th if I'm not mistaken and this comes out a couple weeks before same with the Maleficent collection it came the Mac collection came out a couple weeks before the movie came out Disney has it all planned. Anyways, this is Coop. I don't know how to say that. The iridescent beauty powder. My mistake. This is, oh my gosh, these don't show up on me. This is so terrible. This would be just shimmer. I feel terrible. This is shimmer on me. I, I can't. No matter how much I swatch it, it doesn't show up on me. And I was disappointed when I. Yeah, it, it's this. It, it looks really pretty. It is an iridescent beauty powder. So it's more like a highlight shimmer for your face. Yeah, it's supposed to be that kind of iridescent color. So anyways, those are the beauty powders. It just shows up as glitter to me. This is so sad. It breaks my heart. It really does. <laughs> it looks prettier on my finger than it does on my skin. So that's that. Not very excited about that. What is this? This is a pigment. These two are pigments. This pigment is called Evil Stepmother. 
It looks like this again. Really pretty blue. Hopefully you can see it. Ooh, hopefully it doesn't spill. But yeah, okay. So that's Evil Stepmother. I don't have my color story with me, so I'm not sure how they described it. But to me, it's like a muted black with kind of purple glitter shimmer. This pigment, okay, let me let me open it so you all can see. This pigment is called Pretty It Up. It's definitely more pigmented. Ooh, this one's very nice. Wow, very, very nice. Wow, that's very nice. I, I am actually very impressed with this one. And I don't have anything like this. Believe it or not, I don't have anything like this. The one on the top is Evil Stepmother, and I'm not sure how well you can see it. But there are purple glitters in there, so that makes it nice. The second one, look at it, wow. That is great. Pretty it up. That is very, very, very nice. Next, I see this Studio Eye Gloss in Lightly Toped. The paint pot. It's bigger. This one is called Lightly Toped, and if I'm not mistaken, there's two of these. The other one's like a pearly white, which would make sense. This is a gloss. I had no idea. Why haven't I ever felt this before? You could probably put this on your lips too. I am not sure. This is very interesting. It is a gloss. Wow. Definitely work on the lips. That's why I guess they use this kind of container because this is kind of like the lip conditioner, lip treatment containers but I do like the container. I'm not sure how well you can see it but it, it's glossy. It's tacky and glossy. It does have pigment to it. I've never heard of an eye gloss before. That's very interesting. Get on to the good stuff, right? Okay, let's just start off with the glosses since we're in the gloss. This is the lip gloss. This one is called Happily Ever After. Oh, very pretty. This is the packaging and that's the gloss. I'm so glad the sun is here so y'all can see the right color. Okay, so let me go ahead and swatch it. No, oh, very nice. And I'm usually, I'm really not one for colors like this. I always say that, but I really am not. I don't, I wouldn't gravitate towards this kind of color. It's very pretty. Okay. The second one is called Glass Slipper. Of course, there had to be something called Glass Slipper. Iridescent gloss with glitter. It's Happily Ever After on top, as you can see pink gloss with iridescent glitter makes it very pretty and the bottom one is more translucent and a glitter in it the bottom one is glass slipper the moment i've been waiting for <laughs> the lipsticks there's two lipsticks this one that i have right now look at the bullet very pretty cinderella on the bottom look at this omg this one is called Royal Ball. This is a luster, that's why. It's taking a bit to apply. Second lipstick is called Free as a Butterfly. So they're both luster finishes. The top one is Royal Ball, and the bottom one is Free as a Butterfly. And as you can see, they match the lip glasses perfectly. That's great. On my lips, I am wearing Royal Ball Lipstick, and I am wearing the matching lip glass, and this is Happily Ever After. And if I had to pick any product that I loved from this collection and definitely must get, it would have to be these two. I definitely think it shows up. Obviously, it shows up on my skin tone. It does take a little bit of layering, but it does show up. And I do like the lip glass. I'm actually very impressed with the lip glass, to be honest. I'm not one for lip gloss, lip glass, whatever, but... I really do like this and also you have to take into consideration I know some of you might be really really bummed out or maybe not that bummed out because you don't have to waste money but me personally when I first saw this collection I'm like what is this none of this kind of shows up on me but you have to take into consideration that Disney 
picked out these products, specifically the fictional character that she may be, for Cinderella. So I really think this makeup, all of this makeup, would definitely flatter Cinderella. I'm not sure about the whole, maybe this for her evil stepsisters or evil stepmother, but I really do think all of this would flatter her on her skin tone. Keep that in mind, I know it's kind of a bummer, kind of not, it just depends on where you stand, but I personally really like these two. Well, that is it for my MAC Cinderella collection. I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. The pictures and swatches and my first impressions, I definitely have to be honest with you all. Always keep it 100% real with you all. And my thoughts, again, these are my thoughts, my opinions. It just, it is what it is. So I do hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy all the pictures and swatches and everything, please, please, please give this video a huge thumbs up for me. I would really, really appreciate it. Next week, I will also have a MAC haul for you all. You know how to get those lipsticks, girl. No, I have problems with lipsticks, so I had to. That will be coming up next week, hopefully. I will record that video um, soon, hopefully within the next couple of days for you all, which I'm super excited. That one, I am very excited about. I was excited about this. Cinderella, you know, little girl inside of me. Cinderella OMG. But, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep it real with you all. I can't, I can't lie to you all. Again, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. And I will definitely be seeing you all super soon. Bye, everyone.